Hello, I'm Anna Woltus, and today I'm going to be discussing why I think that the armor worn by Jaffa in the Stargate franchise is, uh, generally speaking, materially stronger than the armor worn by soldiers during the late Middle Ages and early modern period. And the reason I say that is because... I can see how they perform against firearms. So with the armor from the late Middle Ages and the early modern period, there's a developmental history where the armor gets thicker in response to firearms, and then firearms become more powerful in response to the thickness of the armor, and eventually it becomes inconvenient for soldiers to have armor that's thick enough to defend against the muskets of that time because it would inconvenience the soldier in combat either by reducing his stamina or reducing his range of motion to the point where fighting in a prolonged battle becomes very difficult and generally speaking unpractical. And then we see a history of armor becoming a bit less complex with uh, People still wearing helmets and cuirasses, but losing a lot of the other pieces of armor as soldiers focus more on mobility instead of protecting against bullets. And uh, of course, people still wear the armor because it still protects against hand-to-hand -hand weapons such as swords, pikes, etc. And uh, eventually that also goes down as uh, line infantry tactics become more common and the musket becomes the standard weapon that most people on the battlefield wield. Now, that being said, that really puts uh, the limit to the strength of a plate harness to the level of, uh, I'll be generous and say, a 17th century musket. Now, of course, by the 17th century, plate harnesses had become a lot less uh, common, and they were still used in the 17th century, but it is for certain that in the 17th century, the muskets that the soldiers used were capable of penetrating plate. Now, let's move on to Stargate. So, in Stargate, you have the for the first episode of this TV series, the gold uh, come through the Stargate, specifically it's Apophis and some Jaffa that are uh, employed to him, or to be more exact, they're his servants, I guess, or his soldiers. Uh, well, there's a, a number of different ways to analyze that relationship, but it's Apophis and his Jaffa come in, and they're wearing this armor, and the soldiers that are protecting this Stargate, they weren't expecting anybody to come through it, and they fire on them with their M16s, and... We see that a lot of the bullets just bounce off and some of the Jaffa are completely unharmed. Meanwhile, uh, some of the bullets do actually manage to get through and a couple of the Jaffa get killed. So then later on, as the series progresses, we see that happening a lot less frequently. And by a lot less frequently, I'm talking about the bullet uh, repelling power of the armor so the implication that a lot of fans make here is that the soldiers that were guarding the stargate weren't using armor piercing rounds and then the soldiers uh and the sg teams throughout the series later on were using armor piercing rounds because of course they expected to fight against the jaffa who wore armor now of course, the power scaling is very evident here. We see rounds from an M16, not armor-piercing rounds, though, and those rounds are mostly repelled by Jaffa armor. Meanwhile, rounds from a 17th century musket penetrate through an early modern plate harness. So that indicates to me that the armor worn by the Jaffa in Stargate is most certainly composed of a tougher material than uh, the steel that was being used 
by soldiers in the early modern period. Now, that being said, there are also some other issues that need to be addressed. For example, while the armor that the Jaffa wear is certainly more protective against bullets, there is, um, of course, the issue that it protects less parts of the body. So, in, in that sense, the plate harness has that beaten since the plate harness protects the entire body and doesn't leave as many openings. Now, that being said, um, the serpent guards do have their helmets, so that's something to be noted as well. And in addition to that, the Jaffa armor has, because it protects less parts of the body, it also has a freer range of motion, which uh, would give an advantage in certain types of combat as well. So I think uh, that's all I really wanted to say on the issue. If anybody out there disagrees with me, uh, has some scientific facts to bring, or uh, would like to give me a topic for a future video, or would even like to collaborate with me in making a future video, please do say so in the comments below, and I'll see if uh, I can address whatever uh issue you're bringing up. So anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will be seeing you all next time on Wiltus Over and Out.